Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Andy's Beer Reviews. Today we are reviewing this. This is from uh, Ringwood Brewery. It is their Razorback um, beer. They describe it as a refreshing amber craft ale. Comes at 3.6% ABV. Uh, looking forward to this. I've been drinking a lot of amber ale recently. To be fair, I've been th drinking a lot of Banks's um, amber ale. And that is just, just because... Ooh, and that's just because it's really cheap at the moment uh, and so every so often we like well it's not all about craft sometimes it's sometimes it's about just getting some cheap beers and enjoying them and i like banks as being you can pick it up from most places little now they're flogging it for 99p at the moment i'm sure it's available for other morrison's doing it for 99p as well at the moment so yeah, so it's about time this was drunk because this has been on the shelf a little while. Um, so it's got its turn now. Um, so that has poured a clear amber colour. There's a little tap, to be fair, I can't tell there's a little bit of haze in there. A tiny bit of haze. And what looks like some, some small bubbles rise in there. Looks good. Let's get the aroma, shall we? It's sweet toffee. Mild floral note. It's very mild though. Very mild aroma. But yeah, it smells decent enough for a, a, a bitter or an amber ale. Um, right, taste it. Cheers, everybody. It is interesting, oh, excuse me, because this was their um, best bitter, but Marsons took over in 2007, 2008, something like that, and they've had a, been through a whole rebrand and their best bitter has now become Razorback, which is now just classed uh, as an amber craft. I didn't know it before. Um, so I don't know if it's gone down from something else to 3.6 The ABV is most likely to have been reduced as well It's kind of what people like Marsons doing to take over a brewery Maybe not change your recipe too much but they do make sure the ABV is reduced It's easy drinking it was toffee on the aroma. It, oh. Yeah, it's, it smells more toffee on the aroma. But more caramelly on flavour. I get a little bit of, um, a little bit of hops from it, a little bit of citrus. It's okay. It's okay. It's a bit thin. I won't go far as to call it watery. The carbonation to me seems a little bit OTT. The mouth feels not too bad. I'm being brutally honest. But it just seems to me a little bit one dimensional. It is just that. <coughs> and as the best bitter, to be fair, <coughs> as the best bitter, it is malt forward, so you expect a lot more, more malt on it than hops. As a bitter, it's okay. Um, it's like I said, it used to be a best bitter. I'm just going to have a little sneaky look at the back. Mm, don't say anything there. I mean, obviously, at the bottom of the pile, you've got bitters. Uh, then you've got best bitters. 
a little bit better ABV, a little bit better flavour, better ingredients, and then you get your extra special bitters, extra special beers or bitters at the top end. Again, a better ABV, um, better quality ingredients to take a little bit more time over it uh, and produce something hopefully quite nice so it is at the bottom of the run um, look it's okay I prefer my beers to be a little bit richer than that it's got the multi caramel um, multi caramel flavor that's right um, there's a very mild short bitterness on the back end <sighs> to be fair as a beer as a bitter goes it's bang on for style it is malt, malt forward um, it's it's in the range from maybe B a B V perspective um, it's got that little bit of bitterness at the back end so it's, it is bang on for style um, it's just lacking. It just lacking. For me, it just lacks a bit, a bit of um, a bit of excitement. You know, if you're talking amber ales, which this is, I think I do prefer slightly, not a lot, but slightly. Banks beer. And it's uh, it's cheaper. You can probably pick this up for about one pound. Oh, you're paying for this now. You're probably paying one twenty, one anywhere between one twenty and one fifty for for this. From a supermarket it's all right it's all right it's not gonna blow minds it's pretty it's, it's nice and if you're looking for if you're looking for a cheap but i was gonna say if you're looking for a cheap beer well that's your one but to be fair i'd rather drink banks than this anyway personally um and it's banks is cheaper win-win it's okay um score wise i'm gonna score that six out of ten Six out of ten from Andy's Bay Views, wherever you're drinking. Please enjoy it. Until the next review, everybody. Cheers.